Alright, I just wanted to give an air condition tutorial, man. I, I was just a, I was just kind of, a, I guess, helping a member out of the Phaeton group. Um, Alright, I just wanted to give an AC tutorial because I don't see these online and the conception is so far wrong. Alright, of course you had your quiet zones, you have this fancy vents, you have passenger, was it passenger this passenger driver then you had these and then you have those and then you had these back here and then you have one here one there and then uh, if i can get back here um yeah one here and another one here and i'm not sure there's more back oh yeah there's of course the ones on the floor so, and the one thing people, the one people forget is this right here. This right here, as you can probably see the C in the camera, this is a vent. This is not a speaker, it is a vent. So, it's actually, it just looked like a speaker cover is a vent, but you can see a little bit in the camera. You can see it's vents, and it's for the draftless AC system. What it does, it what it does, it kind of, no, it not kind of, it keeps, it blows air, but the air is not all in your face. Like, it kind of keeps it warm. And, and of course, I forgot, did I forget, you got the windshield up here. This is not for the windshield, this is actually so the air doesn't blow hard in your face. You know, sometimes these close, but the AC's still on for my owners. That's why there's no speaker in the dash. Just want to get out the way. Because I know uh, even, what's the guy's name? The Doug DeMiro guy. He got this so wrong. And all he had to do is like put his camera up at an angle and see those vents coming out of there. It's not a central speaker in the dash. I'm sorry, it's not. Um, if, they, if they told you that, you're wrong, pretty much. Sorry. Um... All right, and one comp one more component is down here. Let me get my camera around it. Oh boy! All right, right here behind here, this is called when you take out the radio, take out this bezel actually. And this is called this is basically I forgot the technical name for it, but it's a inside temperature. It ten senses the temperature of the dash, like so. It just takes the temperature from here, from here, and just uh kind of cools the dash too with this uh with this so if you put your hands right now i got it in manual mode just for the fan but everything else is automatic if you put your hands up up here up top right here like you'll feel air coming out of there many people don't know that i don't know why but it is what it is so Basically, you basically your draftless AC, your your draftless heats come from here. And then, interestingly, what I even found out was the rain sensor that is in here is actually tied to the AC system because it senses humidity along with being a rain sensor. So it's a dual purpose sensor. So. I think my last video I had, I think it's on YouTube, I didn't even put it in the group. But uh, when I changed out the sensor, I noticed it said humidity was okay, but rain was bad. And did my homework and found the manual, which I, I will attach to the description. Come to find out it's a dual purpose sensor. So, so, you know, I learned something every day. And that right there is on the windshield is the I think it's the light sensor. So, so you know, learning something new every day. I just want to share it. But yeah, that is the AC system in in a I guess a summarizing way. Of course, you of course mine is equipped with the rear with the rear controls. So you have the the AC controls for the back too, and this kind of slows down the middle section. And the outside sessions here blow when the oh man, I'm pointing the camera the wrong way. 
these blows sparing kind of blows but it kind of it's kind of the effect of this right here so it doesn't blow in people's faces or whatever but most of the time back here these keep going in my car i'm not sure if something wrong or not but i don't know the few passions i had back there never complained so i'm not i'm not gonna look too much into it but but yeah just uh yeah, this is just like a brief, uh, this is a brief showing of the AC controls and hopefully this taught some people something. I'm not a, I'm not an expert, but I'm learning the cars I go and anything crazy or interesting I learn, I'll try to share it. And most of the time is the uncommon, the uncommon knowledge or a lack of knowledge that has people afraid of these cars, but these cars are pretty damn easy, especially compared to what's new today. I, I had a debate with somebody in one of these, uh, one of these uh, Facebook groups. I'm kicked out of that group now, nah, anyways. But uh, it's a was it rare and unusual, unusual car groups for sale or something like that. Man, they tried to bash the hell out of this car, but guess what? I told them I told them about how much it costs to change spark plugs in the Mercedes Benz. The new uh was it these new V8 engines that with the direct ingestion. He damn near had a heart attack. And I told him I could change I could change all 12 of these spark plugs right here. Right here in my front my front uh my front area. I did that. Try doing try doing that in a and the newer Mercedes Benz, you can't you can't do it. It'll take like about four hours just to take everything apart. Like this right here, changing all twelve of these, man, it didn't take me but like about it took me like an hour and a half doing it slowly. But now I can take that whole intake plan them off in like about ten minutes <laughs> and zip through it like it's no like it's no tomorrow. So, just saying. Just saying, some things may be hard on this car, but should the essentials or not? So, so yeah, I say you get your left nut for you get your left nut for a W12. Go ahead. Like this thing is not going anywhere. I got a ceramic coated, so it ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna try to get this uh this odometer up to at least at least like 150 or. 169, I'm just playing. I keep my cars for a long time. It's going to get to two something before I even think about getting rid of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. I just want to give y'all a little tutorial of uh, the AC system and how it, how it works. And I will put a link, if it stays there, to the to the manual so people will look it up so they won't think I'm lying or anything because you know there's there some people that think I'm lying but even though I show things like people still think I'm lying but okay alrighty